Good morning, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to this morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin with this morning news report right now. New Hampshire inmate fled through exterior door and skilled fence to escape officials say Sheriff Peter DiBiazzo should be considered dangerous. Take a look at this photo right here. This is the escaped suspect. Belknap County jail officials have released new information about an inmate who escaped Monday night. Peter DiBiazzo, 57, is considered dangerous, and it's not known whether he was armed after he escaped. Jail officials said DiBiazzo was working in the laundry room around 8.30 p.m. Monday. A routine check on the room was made at 9.30 p.m., jail officials said. When our staff went back to check on him during the routine check, the door leading from our main hallway into the room was barricaded, said jail superintendent. They forced their way in and then found the exterior door was forced open. Officials said he escaped through an exterior door that was not wired to an alarm and scaled a 10 foot high fence that did not have bob wire and fled. It Time for that portion of the facility to be removed and a new portion built, the superintendent, jail superintendent, said. A canine search was conducted Monday night, but he was not found. They were unable to pick up the scent, said Sheriff Bill Wright. We believe that there was just a little bit of time that had passed and they were unable to get that sent. Officials said DiBiazzo was seen on a home ring camera north of the jail around 11.30 p.m. According to the Belknap County Department of Corrections online inmate search, DiBiazzo was awaiting trial on a series of charges including domestic violence, criminal threatening with a deadly weapon, stalking, and being an armed career criminal. Authorities said DiBiazzo was caught on surveillance video north of the jail, but believe he would eventually make his way south as he was last apprehended, apprehended in Florida. They said he was then brought to New Hampshire to face current charges. Wright said they believe DiBiazzo is acting alone, but said he has friends and family in the area. Anyone who sees DiBiazzo should not approach him or attempt to, to apprehend him. Instead, call Belknap County Dispatch at 603 527 
454 extension 0. It's not necessarily what they're going to do to get themselves out of this. It's what they're going to do to keep themselves from getting caught, Wright said. That's the most concern for us. A reward of up to 2500 is being offered by the U.S. Marshals New Hampshire Joint Fugitive Task Force for information leading directly to DBL Bode location and arrest. DiBiaso is described as white, 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing 180 pounds, with blue eyes and blonde hair. He has several tattoos, including on his right hand, left forearm, chest, back, left ankle, and left soldier. According to the jail superintendent, this is the first inmate escape since 2008. And that is it for this morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. Thank you for tuning in and watching this morning news report. Have a great day, everyone, and goodbye.